Hey guys, so I'm excited to share with you this new um, whale planner that I recently got. I found it on Amazon. I was looking for a new planner to um, take the place of the one that I just used up and that I, I did a video on that planner as well. Um, so this is a new planner to sort of just start, have a fresh start to the new year with. And I was looking for one that had a few, my last planner was, was good, but I was looking for one, uh, one that had a few additional kind of tweaks to it that would just make it kind of like next level helpful in terms of organization. And um, this one, the thing that it has that's sort of an additional little thing is the other planner I had, it had the hourly schedule, which really, really helps me a lot to see everything laid out, like what happens each hour of the day. But then it also had, a, the other one also had a to-do list, but the other one did not have these priorities up at the top because sometimes my to-do list just becomes so crazy long and then I look at it and I just feel sort of overwhelmed and then I'm like, okay, what's which items are the priorities? And it, you know, it can just be sort of for someone who struggles to kind of kind of get things done and to prioritize, it can be like a little hard. So um, usually on Sunday, I will put um, you know, do my to-do list and then I'll think about what the priorities are or what needs to be done in a certain order. Like sometimes like the priority on Monday might be to fill out some paperwork that needs to be done before my kids go to something that's on Tuesday or something like that. So I have to think about that. I have to think about that when I'm prioritizing. Um, or like maybe I need to get some furniture upstairs because someone's going to pick it up. So I need to do that a certain day. So I will you know, be able to lay out my whole week kind of like that and have my priorities each day so I know what I have to do that day as well as just my overall just general to-do list that I can refer to if I've completed my priorities for the day and I just want to try to get ahead or get something else done. Um, so that is really pretty cool about this planner. And then also has this little area of notes at the, for notes at the bottom. I sometimes use this for like telephone numbers or just like little reminders to myself. And it is, you'll probably notice it's undated. So you can start it at any time and end it at any time. You know, you can, you know, if you are someone who's going to school, you could just use it for nine months and then um, pick back up when you start school again. And, and, it, and that way it could actually, you could use this planner for three semesters probably. So that would kind of help to save a little money. And then it has at the bottom over here, it has habit trackers. So you can put, I sometimes, uh, I've been using this for drinking water each day, for getting my steps each day, for reading a little bit stuff I'm reading for my kids each day, like parenting stuff. Um, and then also as well for like skincare items, like these are the days of the week I'm using retinol. These are the days of the week that I'm, you know, using a mask, stuff like that. So I don't forget kind of, you know, what products I've already used because you're not supposed to necessarily use some every single day. So that's been sort of nice to have a lot of extra space to have my different habits out there like that. And it does have three bookmarks so that you can bookmark the week that you're on, you can bookmark the month that you're on, and the months do come at the beginning of each section. So you'll have a section like this, and then you'll have goals, um, you'll have your monthly layout, so you can bookmark your monthly layout as well as whatever week you're on. So it'll be, you know, this the goals, the monthly layout, and then the weeks for the month, and then the next month you start over again with oh this at the end you can track your budget which is pretty cool and then month end notes thoughts and journal which is pretty neat too and then there you go new month so each month is laid out like that which is pretty nice and then at the back there's a little folder pocket in case you have anything you want to store back there um, and at the very back there and at the very back there's um, a number of pages here for just, you know, whatever you're trying to keep track of. So that's really nice. And then let's see. Oh, and at the beginning, they also have a few pages for vision board. I haven't really used some of this sort of stuff. It's just not really something that I find that helpful. But for you guys, if you like to do vision boards or you like to sort of have a place to sort of try to map out your whole year and your goals for the year. They have um, some space in the planner for that as well. And I really like that it has this little loop right here because I can never find a pen when I need to write something down. So I can keep a pen right here in this loop and then I can have my bookmarks in there and then I can use this strap to keep it closed. And I have only been using it for about a month so I can't yet speak to its longevity, but 
it does seem like a very sturdy quality planner and it has these little metal pieces on the corners to help keep those um, looking nice. So it does seem like my impression is that it will last definitely for the year. It will, it should, uh, last quite well. So I am really pleased with it so far. And it's not that big. If you can see compared to the size of my hand, it's not that big, but it is big enough to put everything I need. And, um, this one also has a larger version too. It has a, a bigger version. If you're someone who needs just a lot of space to write all your stuff, or if you have bigger handwriting too, you could, uh, you might want to take the, the larger planner, but this is actually just a perfect planner for my needs and it is pretty lightweight. So that's nice. And I definitely recommend it. And if you have any questions about it, please leave me a comment and I will link to it down in the info box. If you want to check it out on Amazon and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.